Great British Bake Off 2021 winner Giuseppe Delano has lifted the lid on what Paul Hollywood and Prue Leith are really like outside the iconic baking tent. The 2022 winner of the Channel 4 competition is set to be announced in a week's time in the grand finale. Bake Off judge Paul has built up a reputation over the years a hard man to please on the beloved show. However, Giuseppe feels some of that may be manufactured as he told Radio Times, the production plays on it a little and they like to build up Paul as a creepy, nasty man. But, he isn't at all. He is very honest and brutal at times, but he is very fair. The charismatic baker hinted the toughest judge on the show may be his colleague Prue. He explained, Prue can get her message across quite strongly. She does it with a very posh accent and a very dame-like manner, but she doesn't hold back in the slightest. Giuseppe also gave an idea of what goes on behind the scenes of Bake Off when he spoke to Express. Co.uk. The full-time baker said, on TV you go from one minute where there is buttercream carnage and literally everyone is covered in cocoa powder and whipped cream. He continued, then the next second after the adverts the whole room is spotless. So the amount of work that goes into the show is monstrous. This year's final four are Sandro Farmhouse, Abdul Sharif, Sayabira Yusuf, and Yanush Domagala, who will be hoping to win the 13th edition of the competition. Despite Guy Zapp's description of Paul as a calmer, less fearsome person than the cameras let on, his approval is still a goal for most bakers. Semi finalist Sandro said, Having a Hollywood handshake is one of the three achievements everyone wants on Bake Off, but, hey, maybe I'll get another chance. His fellow contestant Abdul has not yet received a Star Baker Award yet, heading into the final two shows of the series. The fitness fanatic revealed, It was incredibly difficult and I questioned myself a lot. This year Paul has been criticized by some viewers for overusing his iconic handshake in the tent with contestants. During Halloween week, he gave a remarkable double handshake to Maxi and Sayabira on the show. However, some fans on social media were unimpressed by his generous offering, at Itsumi underscore XO tweeted, Remember when the handshakes meant something? Now they're so common, they're pointless. During the show, at Joel Gunderscore 88 remarked, I'd hope that COVID would kill the overused Hollywood handshake. Read the full interview in this week's issue of Radio Times.